Episode 3, Daddy Stubble. I came back through the door with a puzzled mind. How is it possible that I met the creepy stallion from my dream on the way home? After I delivered the supplies to Mom, I went to the kitchen to put the groceries on the table in order to go back to the governess. I was surprised to find Father there. At first I didn't try to bother him. After all, he probably came in here for something and didn't want to be disturbed. Cecilia, I turned to Dad. Yes, sir? Did... <sighs> Did you meet any pony on the way home? Y yes, sir. I was puzzled at his question. I met ponies on the street before, and he usually didn't mind. But... But this time... He seemed almost... Worried. Who did you meet? He asked as he came closer. An, an old friend of yours? Why? Dad closed his eyes and lowered his head to the side, his face expressing a strained look. What did he look like? I was starting to worry about him. He started showing symptoms of his and my mom's eye stare. Only, somewhat worse. Uh, uh, well, he had he had black hair, um, and a, a black top hat and cloak. He had a blue shirt with a necktie hanging out. Razor sharp teeth, and and the most interesting character. What color were his eyes? I was confused, but I answered it anyway. Yellow, like yours. Why? <sighs> Daddy, are you okay? Cecilia. He lifted his head again and looked at me. After school, come back to the laboratory with me. There's something I need to show you. After Cecilia left the kitchen, I ran to my room's door. I opened a secret door in that room and ran downstairs to my laboratory. I came to a screeching halt at the bottom and angrily looked up. Hide! I shouted at the mirror. I was glad I shut both the doors to my bedroom and my lab at that point. Two yellow eyes appeared and a face came out of the darkness of the mirror, as it said with a grin. Yes? Did you meet to see on the way home today? Maybe. He said as he looked up with a mischievous smile. You know you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> What, I can see your daughter just once. I shook in anger, but I breathed to calm myself down. You're like a murderous child. You're almost unpredictable. One minute, you're minding, and the next, you're backstabbing. Oh, who? Me. Hide ass with big pitiful eyes. <sighs> I know you haven't murdered any pony for the past ten years because of me. I know that I can somewhat trust you in chains, but I can never, ever trust you outside. Look, Hyde, I lived with you for over fifteen years. I know how you think. So, if you be ever so kind, as to keep your murder sturges to yourself when you visit my daughter. <sighs> I'd sighed, rolled his eyes, and clicked his tongue. I just want you to promise one thing to me. Just one thing. That depends, Shago. I have to hear it first before I can decide if I can keep it. Of all the ponies you come across and kill, don't you dare lay a hoof on my daughter. Can you keep that one simple promise to me? 
I don't know. We'll just have to see. Please hide. Of all the lies and deception that you do, make this one a truth. Your daughter seems to be of value to you. Am I right? Our daughter, as much as I hate to say it. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Please, at least to make the promise. <sighs> Fine. I promise. But that doesn't mean I'll keep it. Good enough for me. So, this daughter of yours, how old is she? Why are you all of a sudden interested in my daughter? Our daughter, dear girl. Remember? Yes, our daughter. But why? You'll see. Whenever you say that, it makes me feel uneasy. It should. Don't you dare! Oh, come on, Jigger. I'm just playing around with you. The girl is safe for now. I have no motive. Can't you take a joke, Jigger? Not with you. You're so serious. Why don't you loosen up every once in a while? Because with you, there is a fine line between truth and lie. And I don't want to take any chances, especially with our daughter. You don't trust yourself. Do you really want me to answer that question? No. What are you doing? Work that you won't care to hear about. You know me too well. I wish I didn't. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Look, I know you hate to hear this as much as I hate saying it. But please, keep in mind you're her father too. At least be good at that. <sighs> Fine. If it be that much to you, then I sincerely swear that I will not severely hurt her. There. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, if you don't mind, this conversation is getting a little dull. So I'm going to get going. All right, just don't get into trouble. <laughs> I won't. I have a very specific goal today. Just don't kill a pony while you're free. Just for one day. Huh, so serious. What, do you think that when I'm free there's a murder I cause around every corner? Yes, you're right. Most of the time it is. I hate you. Likewise. <laughs>